Well, they don't care, but if they go in the Hey folks, Jerome Forsford here. It's 3.11 p.m. on July 19, 2023 in downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It's 26 degrees outside and a sunny afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for 1.3 kilometers starting along the Hamilton Street walkway to Smythe, then stroll northwest on Smythe, northeast on Richards, and northwest on West Cordova, ending my track at Waterfront Skytrain Station. If you would like to support the channel, click the heart icon to send me a super thanks. To receive updates, follow me on Instagram at jforestwood. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey folks, Jerome Forsford here. Just walking along uh, Smythe Street. Approaching the intersection of Smythe and Richards. Here in downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. This would be Richard Street here. So we'll cross my street and we'll be on Richard. Or Richards. <laughs> there's a park there over for the kids, but there's also this nice little quaint cafe here. The chain from Kafka's. Oh wow. The emergency alert system's going off. It's an Amber Alert. Oh, okay. Yeah, kid missing. Yeah, it's good to know that system's working. I might get a French one, so it might go off one more time. <laughs> Who knows? Everyone in the area is reading it right now. <laughs> Gives you the description and everything. I'll keep walking here along Richard Street. Okay. Not going to worry about that. I've read the description. I'll do my job if I notice something other than that though I can't do much else <clears throat> so we'll keep walking here and this section of Richards is where we start to move into the more uh, commercial area with retail and office space Richards has more office space and residential <laughs> on it that buttresses both up to and within the financial sector here in downtown Vancouver. There's no formal financial area name for it like you would find in other cities like Toronto. Let me just cross Robson Street. I don't keep walking, but uh, it is what it is. <laughs> that is what it is. So. When you got um, big banks of uh, names like Scotia Towers, and the KPMG building, and the HSBC uh, building, all that stuff. Yeah, those are all banks. <laughs> banks or you know, accounting services. So. And financial services. So, hence, financial sector. And here as well, there's also 
a few hotels. I'll let you keep the eye out for the hotels yourself. Over here on Richards. <laughs> yeah, we're approaching the intersection of Richards and West Georgia. Now we're going to continue walking along Richards Street, at least across it. Looks like we have to wait though. So here's the intersection again of Richards and West Georgia. And that would take you, if you went down West Georgia in this direction, that would take you into the heart of the financial sector. The office buildings over on this side, they don't really advertise who's in the buildings. That's okay, you don't necessarily need to know unless you're dealing with the company and then they'll tell you. <laughs> where they are. Just waiting for the light to change. There we go, it's our turn. Keep going down Richard Street here. Passing one of the local post offices. It's in the bottom of the building. Uh, oh, here's Canada. Across the street, it's one of the few parking garages here in Vancouver. At least in the downtown. There's a few others, like there's not, not like a big shortage. And that's one of the few above ground parkades. Just like housing, parking does come at a premium in downtown Vancouver. This would be Cathedral of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. <laughs> I can see that. Some of the windows at least. Oh. It's a pretty big building. Don't think I can get the whole thing in. Unless I'm standing really far away. But it's a quite impressive building, like look at that. Nice stained glass windows. Very cool. And we still have the right of way, so hopefully we can get it across in time. Yeah, it looks like we're good. There we go, we'll continue walking along Richards. We used to have a decorative water feature over here, which is Pretty nice, but it's not on right now. Just unfortunate.
Looks like they're doing a bit of construction here. And the construction guys to set up some nice pathways for the cyclists and the pedestrian. That's good. I think I can still make it through here. It's a little tight for a wheelchair, but most of the chairs could make it through here. This was covered over, so now that they're taking it down, it looks like the building's getting underway. Yeah, it's already up a few floors. Maybe they'll build it a little higher. I'm gonna put past them. It's about eight floors right now. All right, cool. This would be the intersection of Richards and West Pender Street. And there's a 22 night bus that'll take you all the way over to East Van. And I'll take you down to the South Van too. Just wait for the light to change. A few more seconds. Now it's our turn. There we can go. There's McLeod's book right there. Legendary used bookstore here in Vancouver inside of there but <laughs> very cool eh I have heard they do rare books as well and I haven't tested that out yet I've just heard that as hearsay from a few people oh yeah that's where you can get rare books I'm like, okay <laughs> cool not sure why you randomly shared that with me but <laughs> So I just like <laughs> Now as we can continue on Richards we're approaching West Hastings Street. Looks like we still have the lights, so we can cross. And we'll continue on Richards here now that we've crossed West Hastings Street. And above us, in that bridge, there is Simon Fraser University, and they're throughout uh, this center over here where the food courts and shops are, which would be the Harbor Center. The university does have several spaces in the building across the street. So it's this side of the street to uh, facilitate learning and conduct research. <laughs> And the downtown being the most dense and urban area, this is where you'd want to do urban studies. <laughs> Not much good doing urban studies over in uh, South Vancouver. <laughs> As the focal point. I'm sure there's some kind of application you could study for urban studies there. <laughs> whole lot more single family homes there. And only a few areas where there's some uh, towers which are predominantly around Sky Train Station or major retail strips like Marble on Granville Street. So we're walking on West Cordova Street. And you can see we just pulled in and out of Gastown. That's where Richard Street ends. So if you're on Richard Street and you're like, hey, I want to go to Gastown. Oh, I just showed you how to get there.
So this would be the intersection of West Cordova and Seymour. It's our turn, so we'll cross the street. Nice good 20 second wait time, warning time. That's good. They do, they do a pretty good job with their street lights in all the cities in Vancouver and the Vancouver metro area. You do run into a few differences, like uh, Richmond and how they do their lights, but nothing like difficult to handle or anything like that. So. <laughs> gonna head on down to the expo line. And two clicks and we're back up. Looks like there's goes one of the expo line trains pulling in right now. One's apparently going to Scott Road. Hmm, that's new. Oh, get on here. <laughs> Anyways, folks, thanks for coming along, and just remember to share, like, and subscribe, and uh, yeah, talk to you later. Have a good day.